Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. In this case, Taurus is introducing their best semi-auto handgun to date. And I know it's hard to believe, four months ago they came out with the G3X. And it took a lot of people by surprise, they added a longer grip, 15 round mags that mimics the full size G3 with the same 3.2 inch slide assembly that the G3C offers. And a lot of people were excited. Same trigger pull, restrike capability with without a thumb safety. But then three months ago, they came out with the G3 XL. Longer slide, that mimics the full-size G3 with a shorter grip G3C, 12 round mags, same trigger assembly, same restrike capability. And that made a lot of people happy as well. They, said, you know what, I love the G3C, wouldn't mind a longer slide, and they offered it with the G3 XL. But here, they have an incredible handgun, and a beautiful case, I might add. This is a heavy nylon case, strong zippers. You know, I'm impressed with the case alone. But let me go ahead and show you some shots with the gun, and we'll come and talk more about it. When Taurus released the full-size G3, a lot of people were excited. They said, I love the G2C, the G3C. Now I can get a full-size handgun with the, pretty much the same components, just a bit larger with a 4-inch barrel, 17-round mags. They came out with a Toro edition, Taurus optic-ready option. You can see there I have a Vortex Viper. And people were eating them up. Okay, same trigger assembly, everything else. And it became very popular. But imagine if they took this handgun and tactic-cooled it a bit with some additional features. And that's what they are introducing today. It's called the Taurus G3 Tactical. And here it is. They Cerakoted the slide, made it look super cool. And they have a flat dark earth frame. Same 17 round magazines that the G3 has. But check that out. A threaded barrel, 4.5 inches. So you can run a can with this, a half inch longer than the original G3. And it is a beautiful looking handgun. Still has the Picatinny rail there. Same trigger. I am measuring this trigger at four and three quarters pounds with a short reset and restrike capability. So if you love the trigger on the G3 series, not much was changed here. They don't have a thumb safety, but what they added are suppressor height, co-witness for the red dot sights, serrated black, pinned in front sight that is also raised. And so you can co-witness your red dot, okay? In case something happens, battery dies out, red dot breaks, whatever, you can co-witness, you can still use your iron sights, which is super cool. They have four plates in the case, so right here, this case is so cool. Four plates to fit ten different red dots. So, you know, Taurus does a great job making it super easy to add red dots, and they did with the G3 Tactical. Comes with two 17 round mags. This excellent case. I, I am, like, really digging this case. I think this is one of the nicest cases that I've ever seen. And then here has a lock... And what else is interesting is they have a recoil spring guide rod assembly. I believe this is for running your firearm suppressed. All right, so they do offer that. And then the pistol itself, Cerakote Patriot Brown. Very nice. Still has the sight hole indicator. Red dot ready. Suppressor height sights. Nice color to it. Four and a half inch barrel. Let's shoot this thing. Here's the side-by-side -side with the G3 on the right and the G3 Tactical on the left. We'll check out that grip. Same grip. If you love the 
ergonomics, the texturing that the G3 offers, you're going to get it with the G3 Tactical. But what you won't get with the G3 is a threaded barrel. All right, it goes a half inch longer, aids in accuracy, no doubt. Plus, you can run a can on that, which is always a bonus. But I want to show you the internals because I think Taurus did a very nice job. Now, to do that, you have to take the thread cap off. And then we'll check clear. We knew it was clear. And then disassemble by pulling the trigger. All right, so you'll see the same components for the most part with the, try not to drop that, with the recoil spring guide rod and the 4.5 inch barrel. And that's what we're looking at. And then here's the flat dark earth frame. Super cool. I'm excited. I was super excited when I found out they were coming out with this. I know the popularity with the Taurus handguns. I, I am fully aware because you guys tell me, you know, I, I've reviewed just about all of them, at least many of the newer ones. And I was super excited to see this. I think it looks cool. I think the suppressor height sights that co-witness with the red dot is really nice. And it is priced well. And you're wondering, what is the deal, man? Is this guy going to tell us the price? MSRP. 583 and if you compare that with an FN model, okay Same idea 17 round mags threaded barrel everything. That's like a thousand seventy dollars. This is Just about half Not quite Okay unloaded weight 25 and three quarters ounces loaded with 18 rounds 33 and a quarter ounces. That's not bad. Let's see what the difference is with the original G3 Toro 34 ounces. I've got a red dot on there. That'll account for a couple ounces Yeah about Three quarters of an ounce heavier with the G3 Toro probably that red dot, but there it is new from Taurus the G3 tactical I think a lot of people are going to like it the MSRP is fair. They sure offer a beautiful case with a lot in it. I love that color. Patriot Brown. Cerakote Flat Dark Earth. Looks super cool. And plus, you know, you can run a can. Co-witness Red Dots. They did a good job. And I do believe this is their best semi-auto handgun to date. You know, some people may say they're 1911s. I'm going to say best modern handgun to date. Striker fired. How about that? We'll go with that. And I think that is a fair statement. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.